What's up guys welcome back to ninth part of Android notifications tutorial now in this video we are going to add the action buttons in our notification our special activity so what we are gonna do we are going to add the action buttons settings and help button in our special activity notifications now when the user will click on the settings button then it is going to open the settings activity Similarly, when the user will click on the help button, it is going to open the help activity. Now, there is a little twist. This notification, this main notification is actually the special type. So, there is no back button inside the activity B. But, and also this settings button, it is also of special type. But, this time we are going to design our help activity as the regular type so there will be back button right here it is not showing in the image guys but we are going to design the pending intent of the help button as regular type so special type then this special type at last this help button which will deploy a regular activity fine so let us quickly jump onto the eclipse now inside the Eclipse, in the last video, we created a method show normal view notification in special activity. Fine. So we are going to continue our coding in our step number three to add the action buttons and its desired functionality, whether it will deploy a special activity or regular activity. Fine. Now let us do one thing. Let us type here settings button right here now since settings is actually so let us write the codes of action button settings which is actually a special activity now for the special activity we don't have to worry much about it we just have to copy these codes these three lines of codes control c and paste it right here now we are going to modify a few stuffs like activity b dot class which should be what settings dot class fine now after this let's change the variable name let's write settings intent fine now after this change this also change it to settings intent now the third also pi underscore settings right now here inside the pending intent get activity method we have to change main intent to setting intent fine now after this pending intent dot flag update current now we are good to go now after this before the builder set content pi main we have to add this pending intent to the builder so let's type builder dot add action now i can r dot drawable dot setting now this setting image I have stored inside the drawable folder right here fine as we did in our regular notification project now this title let's give it as settings now this intent is actually the pending intent so let's type pi underscore settings fine end it with a semicolon fine now we are good to go we have successfully added the settings button with a special activity now let us write the codes of help button so in in our step number three only we have to add the codes adding action help which is what which will deploy a regular activity fine so after this let us write the codes that we wrote in our regular notifications activity the first statement so intent help intent equal to new intent activity a dot this to what help dot class this help class is nothing but this help dot java fine now our second statement now our second statement is to add the back stack task builder which is stack builder underscore help task stack builder dot create then this is the context of activity a fine now let us import it the first one android support v4 app click on it fine now our next statement now this is our next statement we have to add the help class to our stack builder help and also we have to add this intent help intent to what our stack builder help fine now our next statement now guys our next statement is to add the pending intent now here i have defined the pending pending intent object pi help 
equal to stack builder help dot get pending intent. This is actually the request code which I have put it to zero. You can put it any integer you want. Now after this pending intent dot flag update current fine. Now finally add this pending intent to what to this builder. So let us write this builder dot add action. Now icon let's write drawable dot help. Now this again help icon I have stored it inside the drawable folder here help.png fine. Now let's give the title help now intent as pi underscore help fine end it with a semicolon. Now guys we are good to go. In this video we have modified the we have added the codes to our step number three. We have added the action buttons of special activity that is settings button. Now in the same notification we have added another button help which will deploy a regular activity. Now this regular activity will be help class right here fine. Now these were the codes that we discussed in details when we were making the project on regular notification. So I don't want to explain it again. Please go back and check out my previous videos. Now guys finally we have to add all these buttons to our notification builder. So I hope there is no confusion. I have followed each and every step elaborately. Now guys at last what was our last step? Now guys we have successfully followed the step 1, step 2, step 3 and step 4. Now there was only difference in the step number 3 where we made out what was the difference between the regular activity notification and the special activity notification. Now lastly we have to make the required changes in the manifest file. So let's do the required changes. So let us go to our notification special activity manifest file. Now here for the settings activity we have to follow the same process that we followed for activity B. Control C then after this control V. Fine now let's change it to settings. That's it. Now after this we have to write another activity with a backstack builder of the help.java. Fine because our help button will de deploy a regular activity with a back button with a parent backstack activity embedded in it. Fine. So what we're gonna do? So here I have written the codes of help activity. Fine. This is having a parent backstack acti activity named activity A which is our main activity in our project. Fine. And after this metadata which support the parent activity as activity a.java. At this moment guys there should be no confusion with the codes. This settings activity will be a special activity and this help activity will be actually a regular activity. So let us save our project and run it and let's check out if hopefully everything is working fine. So our app is running now let's click on show normal view notification. Now let us close this application so that we can depict the difference between the special activity and regular activity. Now scroll it down the navigation drawer. Now we are getting the two buttons help and settings. Now this help button is before the settings button just because of this code. This builder dot add action. If you interchange the position of help and settings action button. So accordingly it will align itself in the application in the notification. So let us click on the settings button which is actually a special activity. So successfully we are getting a settings activity in front of us. Now here there is no back button. So this shows this is a special activity. Now let's move back. Bam a home screen appears in front of us. Now let's check out our regular activity that is help activity. Now let us click on it. Bingo we are getting the help activity in front of us now with a back button in the title bar. Now let us click on this back button or you can use this back button also. Now let's click on it. Yeah definitely our application is successfully working. We are getting a parent backstack activity as activity A. So this shows our application is working perfectly fine. Now guys this was the demo of special activity. Now guys you know very well what are the codes of big text notification, big picture notification and inbox style notification. I am not going to show you 
these codes again please go back and check out my regular notification tutorial and please follow the four five steps that i have showed you and please try to make this big text notification and these big picture and inbox style notification in case of special activity on your own because i have already discussed all the codes elaborately and very clearly so please try to do it on your own so catch you guys in the next video this is shrix from smart herd signing off and please 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 subscribe to my channel and please leave a comment below my video and thanks for watching have a good day thank you